Hi, my name is Patrick McCarthy, a maths tutor. I'm going to show you how to do equations with fractions. Okay, fractions, uh, a lot of people are scared of fractions, but they're actually really, really simple. And I like to think of them as basically in two ways. A fraction obviously looks like this, okay? Something, I'm going to call it A over B, a number over another number. All you have to think about is that this is the, this belongs on the top and this belongs on the bottom, okay? If you think like that, it's easy, okay? The other thing you've got to think about is this, and equals is like a scales, so it's like a balancing act. So, whatever happens to one side has to happen to the other side, otherwise the equation becomes unbalanced. If you think like that, I'll explain a bit more detail now. If you think like that, fractions are dead easy, and equations with fractions are dead easy. Much nicer than dealing with decimals, or anything like that. Fractions are very, very simple. So let's, I'm just gonna give an example of a, an equation with a fraction in, okay? So let's say I have this, three quarters of x equals 75. Really simple equation. Right, remember the two things I said. Three belongs on the top, four is at the bottom, on the bottom. And this is like a scale. So, in order to reverse this, I wanna find x. I wanna get that on its own. So this says that three quarters of something is 75. Now you may be able to see the answer, but I'll use this simple example to help. Now, this four here, this belongs on the bottom, on the left hand side of the equals. Remember the equals is like a scale. So what do I do in order to get rid of this four on the bottom? What do I have to do to both sides of the equation? I have to multiply both sides by four. Okay, so over here it's on the bottom. That means divide it by four. To get rid of it, I have to multiply by four. So if I multiply the left by four, I multiply the right by four, I'm left with this. Three X equals 300. If you multiply four by 75, it's 300. And so, X to 100. Um, the best, the way I like to think of this is if a four's on the bottom here, it swings up to the top up here. And a three's on the top up here, it swings down to the bottom over here. That's a really simple way of using fractions. Now there's much more complicated ways, much more complicated equation than fractions in. An example of one would be something like this. Four over X equals, let's say, uh, do, 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 one. Now, now we've got our X on the bottom. It's on the bottom over here, how do I get it up to the top? Well, I have to multiply both sides by x. That gets rid of it over here, it swings up to the top here, and I get four equals one x, which is x equals four. Okay, that's simple. You know, you might end up with equations that look like this. Four over x equals x plus five. Now, this is a bit more complicated, and care needs to be taken. This x is on the bottom here, so what do I need to do to both sides to balance out the equation and get the x up here so I can start working with it? I must, must, must multiply both sides by x, we know that, but what I mustn't do is, is just multiply one of these terms by x. I have to multiply the entirety of that right hand side by whatever I multiply the entirety of the left hand side by. So, if I multiply both sides by x, this x swings up to here. So I end up with four equals x times all of the right hand side, x plus five. All of it, not just the first term, that's a common mistake, you must multiply by the whole lot. So, I end up, if I rearrange this, and that can be solved using quadratics. Uh, it actually works out like this. It doesn't work out at all. I've I have to use the formula. There's another video on how to solve quadratics. However, to deal with fractions and equations, the most important thing here is you must remember that is a scale. That whatever you do to one side, you do to the other. And if something's on the bottom, to get rid of it, you multiply by it. If it's on the top, to get rid of it on one side, you divide by it. And if you have to put fractions together, remember that adding fractions, you need a common denominator. You can't just add the top and add the bottom. Multiplying fractions, you can. And that's how to do equations with fractions. Mm -hmm.